chances are that if you're watching this video right now, you know someone or personally have witnessed or been a part of some type of domestic violence. If you're someone out there who knows someone who is getting abused, help them out. Help them out. If you're someone who is getting abused, seek help. Don't let it continue. The more hours and minutes and seconds your abusers think that they're getting away with it, the stronger they become. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And you've read this title correctly. Domestic violence does exist in the Muslim communities and you might want to cover it up. You might want to be asked, why you got to talk about these things, man? Don't you see what people think about Muslims? Now you're giving them more ammunition. Who cares? Why are you so worried about what they think about you? Aren't you concerned about meeting Allah? What's the point of this platform of mine if I'm using it for garbage? Oh, hey, you know what you want to hear about? Conor McGregor. Yeah, you want to know about Conor McGregor? Oh, you want to know about Adam Saleh? That's what you want to know about? Go, go unsubscribe for me right now. This is not, if this is the highest I ever achieve in my life, my view count, my subscriber count, and all that garbage, then I need to use my platform for what it is, which is a voice for the public. It's a voice for the people. It's a voice for those who can't speak. It's a megaphone for your voices out there. I, I used to watch my mom get beat by my father. I used to watch her. And now your boy SQ, you want to talk about Um, um Abdullah and Hassan, not those fraudia people? That's what you want to learn about? Oh, you want to learn about Mufti Menk and Nicki Minaj? I've been a part of the problem. Me, I've been a part of the problem. Why should I call out all the other YouTubers that do it when I was doing the same thing? Now, I'm not saying that there isn't value in learning lessons and extracting lessons from these sort of things and, you know, using popular topics to drive home a bigger idea, which I'm doing right now. But why is it that we're so interested in the tea than actually improving our lives? The real dawah? You want to know what real dawah is? The problems that are happening in my home. You don't think I have problems in my home? You don't think these da'is have problems in their home? But they would rather present like they don't. I do have problems in my home. I'm trying to solve them. And I'm trying to help you solve your problems too. Today's name of Allah is going to help you really realize that we say all these beautiful names of Allah. And this is another beautiful name of Allah. But it's really going to wake you up. Today's name is called Al-Mudhil. Al-Mudhil. And this name literally means the one who dishonors. The dishonorer. The dishonorer. And I want to let you know that if you are a male pathetic person who abuses their wife, whether it's physically, whether it's emotionally, psychologically, whether it's just through your words and saying nasty things to them to bring down their self-esteem, you're, you're a piece of trash. And by the way, there's influencers. Recently, there was a person. I had just disassociated myself with them because like, you're disgusting. The fact that even there's something similar, even a, a type of affiliation of that stigma to you is disgusting. That your wife has to come out into a GoFundMe and say that, hey, my husband's been abusing me and please help me start up my new life. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. And you should be embarrassed and ashamed of yourself. But you're still so worried about your own image that you're worried about posting things on Instagram and on all this bull like, uh, you know, Facebook just to maintain your image because you're some banda, it's, you're, you're, you're pathetic. Go sort your gharke mamle out first. Go sort your home issues, your domestic issues first. If you're having problems at your house, stop worrying about posting out a video over here. This is a message to me. My, the tranquility in my house is more important than posting a video. But kya kare? This is someone's rosy roti. This is someone's risk. They earn money from this. So of course they need to talk about it. Of course they need to talk about it. They need to stay relevant. I understand. It's a hustle. It's a game. Domestic violence is a real thing, guys. Some of you watching it, chances are that if you're watching this video right now, you know someone or personally have witnessed or been a part of some type of domestic violence. And this isn't just something plaguing the Muslim community. This is a very universal fitra. 
but it's sad that it's within the universe, within the, excuse me, it's sad that it's within the Muslim community because Muslims should be free from such jahiliya and disgusting habits because it's not in our books, it's not in our sunnah. In fact, there's, the, our, 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 our scripture teaches us to fight for justice. But what do you want, huh? What do you want? You want me to talk about some, some garbage thing happening in the world right now that doesn't even matter? But when it comes to this, you might not even watch this video. Ah, domestic violence. I don't want to learn about this. I don't want to learn about this. I don't want to learn about domestic violence. No, no. I don't know. I don't know. But this isn't for you. This is for the people who can't speak. This is for the people who cry themselves to sleep at night. Who ask Allah, make dua to Allah, Allah, help me somehow. Allah, please guide me, help me. If you know someone who's being uh, abused, it is your responsibility to help them. Shut this garbage off. Shut this video off. Go help them out. Get them the help. Call an agency. Get them, remove them from that situation. Please, physically, grab them. Remove them. Please, remove them. If you know someone, a friend of yours, a family member of yours, is getting abused by their spouse physically, knock on their door, remove them, call the police. Why is it so... What? Muslims are afraid to call the, call the police. Get the government involved. Get your like, legality involved. Do what it takes to get them out of that situation. Don't be like, uh, it's not my mamla. It's not my problem. It is your problem. The fact that you learned that someone's being abused right now was not so that you can have a little bit more tea and just say, oh, they're getting abused over there. No. Allah let that information come hit your ears so that you can get off your ass and do something about it. So do something about it. The Messenger also taught us that if you see an injustice happening, stop it with your hands. Physically, get up and stop it. And if you don't have the ability to physically get up and stop it, speak up about it. Hey, voice up about it. Hey, stop. What are you doing? Voice up about it. But if you can't physically stop it, you can't use your voice, then the least you can do is hate it in your heart. And that's the lowest and weakest form of Iman. And that's exactly where we are as an Ummah right now. We see some wrong happening and we all become indifferent about it. Acting like it's not our problem. Not my circus, not my monkeys, not my issue. It's not my issue. It's happening to them. Oh, it's their own domestic issue. Habibi, it's not. It's your issue. The fact that you learned about that, it's your irresponsibility. And okay, if you're not physically removing them, what's stopping you from sitting down with the husband? What's that? You know, obviously, I'm, it's, we're assuming that it is a man doing the abusing. Yes, it is possible that a woman could be doing it as well too. But what's more likely? Let's be serious over here. Let's be, like, you know, it is your responsibility to stop him. Have a conversation with him. If you don't want to be like, I don't want to remove them from the situation. Okay, get involved. Get involved. Don't let them think that no one knows about it. They need to know that, yo, there's someone watching right now. And if push comes to shove, this person will like get me... They will wrap me out. They will, they will tell. And you got to threaten them. You got to go up to them and be like, you keep putting your hands on this person. There is going to be a problem. This is your first and final warning. You touch them again like this. If I even hear a word that you touch them like that again, there will be a problem. This will be the last time you see your family. Simple. Simple. If I ever find out that someone even near me is getting abused in that manner, I will physically knock on their door and remove them from that situation. You don't know me. I am not. I know what this could do to children. I know what this can do to the spouse. I know what this can do to a human being. I've seen it with my own eyes. And I'm sure you've seen it too. Some of you grew up in that. It's not okay. And this is the type of stuff that we need to be talking about. What's the point of this garbage channel of mine if I'm not using it to help the world what's the point what's just what's the point of this if I can't use this as as something to help the ummah to help the world what is it for if it ain't to help the ummah then who is it to help me I'm disgusted with myself honestly I'm just disgusted with how I've been 
how I've had your attention and I haven't taught you anything. I haven't helped develop you. I haven't helped solve your problems. But hey, I can't do anything about that. All I can do about is just righting my wrongs, being better now. I can't do anything about before, but I could do something about this now. So if you're someone out there who knows someone who is getting abused, help them out. Help them out. If you're someone who is getting abused, seek help. Don't let it continue. The more hours and minutes and seconds your abusers think that they're getting away with it, the stronger they become. And guess what? Al-Mudel, the one who will dishonor them, will dishonor them, will take away their family if they don't straighten up. So please, you want to apply this name of Allah, then you help honor the people. You help honor the people. You serve the people. You help those who need your help. But don't stay silent. Don't stay silent. Don't stay indifferent. Because that's how the abusers remain in power and maintain their power. I love and appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm out.